Welcome back to Notes for Engineers. This is the first in a series of videos looking at failures in vSphere clusters built on top of the SimpliVity Hyperconverge platform. In this video I'll look at storage failures within a SimpliVity node. I've been doing a lot of work with SimpliVity and they've been great at letting me use their lab. So let's see what happens when SSDs and hard drives are pulled out of an OmniStack node. SimpliVity don't spend a lot of time talking about the conventional part of their hardware platform. The part of the hardware that makes them unique is the OmniStack Accelerator card that does all of the I.O. optimization. That's a topic for another time. Today I will look at the drives that store the VM data. There are two tiers. Hard disks is the bulk tier, and SSD is a performance tier. That tiering is also a topic for another day. Right now I'm going to look at what happens when those drives fail. The SSDs are set up in a RAID 5 configuration and the hard disks in RAID 6. This means we can tolerate an SSD failure and up to two hard disk failures without losing access to the data inside the node. That same failure level can happen in every single SimpliVity node at the same time without losing access to any VM files. And in fact, the VM files are still stored redundantly across two SimpliVity nodes, so we can lose one SimpliVity node and lose a whole heap of disks at the same time and not lose access to the actual VM files. Keep in mind also that the OmniStack Accelerator card handles the capacity and performance issues that you might associate with the RAID 5 and RAID 6 configurations. All right, let's take a look at what SimpliVity shows us in the GUI when we look at these OmniStack nodes. For this demonstration, SimpliVity have given me four OmniCube nodes set up as a single data center. I've deployed around 120 server virtual machines onto the cluster so that we have some workload on the hosts. To see the hardware information about the node that we're going to mess around with, we go to the SimpliVity tab on that node. You can see at the bottom a representation of the physical server front and back sides. And you see that there are two disks on the back side. There's actually a second RAID controller for those two disks. And this is the boot volume for the hypervisor. And this is where the SimpliVity control virtual machine files reside. These are separate from what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at the RAID controller that controls the front side of the node where you can see 12 drive slots. Above that physical diagram is a tree of the hardware which is presented to the OmniStack controller virtual machine. It's this controller that owns both the accelerator card and the first RAID controller which controls all the drives in the front of the server. We can expand the hardware tree and see the accelerator and the RAID controller. And under the controller we can see the two RAID arrays. The first is made up of those four SSDs and the second of the eight hard drives. There's information about each component including the health. And so let's see if we can make things a little less healthy by failing some disks. Here are the physical OmniCubes in a data center in Boston. I've taken the bezel off one of the nodes so we can see the drives, but you can see that there's usually a, a much prettier bezel on the front. The best way to fail these drives is simply to eject it. We'll start with one of the SSDs. As you can see, it takes a few seconds before the RAID controller shows an error. Back in the vSphere client, it takes a moment before vCenter shows us that a drive has failed. The SSD is now showing as missing, and the RAID array is shown as degraded. Because we have a RAID 5 array, the data is still available and all the VMs are still operational. You can see there's also an alarm in vCenter on the ESXi server that shows that the SSD is critical. Remember the RAID controller is directly connected to the controller virtual machine, so ESXi has no direct view of this RAID controller. These alerts are being surfaced from the OmniStack Accelerator to vCenter by SimpliVity. We can recover the SSD by reinserting it into the OmniCube. The RAID card will rebuild the RAID. You can see this activity starting to occur, and it will take some time as the RAID set will need to be completely rebuilt writing a full set of data onto this SSD. Back in the GUI, you can see that the SSD array is being rebuilt. There's also a new alarm on the ESXi server saying that the array is being rebuilt. <laughs> While the SSD is still being rebuilt, let's fail some hard drives. The SSDs are still busy rebuilding from our first failure, but while that's going on, we can pop out one of the hard drives and see the disk failure light come back on.
since this is a RAID 6 array, we can have a second hard disk fail without data loss. Let's do that as well. Of course, we'd better have a look back in the GUI and see what vSphere thinks is going on. The first disk has already shown up as failed, so the hard disk RAID array is degraded as well. Then the second disk shows as missing. All the VMs are still operational, even though we've had two of the drives and one of the SSDs fail. That's a quarter of the drives in the entire uh, node have failed. <laughs> it's a lot of failure, yet we still have an operational SimpliVity node. We can return the two hard drives back into the node, and of course, then the remirroring is going to kick off on both of these disks as well. So now we've got both the SSD and the hard disk arrays rebuilding to generate back that redundant local set of data. We can see that the two disks are now rebuilding, just like the SSD array, this is going to take some time. While the rebuilds are still in progress, you can see that we still have alarms from SimpliVity on the SXI server. These alarms will remain in place until the remirroring completes. Keep in mind that we could have had other failures in the cluster at the same time without losing access to virtual machines. Disks could have failed in other nodes without any impact, or we could have had a whole node failure. Since we have hardware RAID in each node, the failure of a disk or SSD in one node does not compromise availability for any VM, not even briefly. This has been Notes for Engineers, and I'm still Alistair Cook. Keep a watch on the website for more videos from SimpliVity. Their platform has some fun features, and I've been allowed to break stuff, which is always fun.